Now, it is not always easy to access all that brain power. Because what happens is we get conditioned by life as children, and then we grow up, and we get conditioned to expectations. Now, people that really want to do great things with their life, they find out how to access their brain cells, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight. So wherever you are in your life, if you want different outcomes, you have to be different. I'll say that one more time. The mind doesn't always get that. If you want different outcomes, you have to be different, meaning you have to think differently and especially feel and expect. Expectation is the single most powerful thing in life. Some would call it belief. So if, if you want your business to be different or your relationships or, or your health, whatever it is, you have to create a different vision and then you have to begin to expect something different to happen. You've got to be at peace with your past. If you're not at peace with your past, it runs your life. It's like the weak link in a chain. It doesn't matter how strong the chain is. So if anybody here has not gotten over your past, and that could have been losing a job, being treated unfairly by a boss. It could have been your childhood. You've got to let it go and bless it. Because the past is what, everybody? It is gone. It is not coming back. How many of you ever lost a big deal that was so important to you? I lost two in the last year. But you see, that can derail people. They can be afraid of failure. It's not failure. It's a learning experience. So everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> whatever past you've had, whatever they did or didn't do, whatever really hurt you and felt like a horrible disappointment, beginning today, let it go. And bless it. And bless it for the lesson. If you've come in here today with past issues, 15-year-old boy John Goddard was a Boy Scout, was in his bedroom one day, and his father's best friend was visiting his dad, John Sr. And he heard his dad, on a rainy Sunday afternoon in the 40s, he heard his dad say, or excuse me, his dad's best friend say, you know, John, if I had my life to live over again, there's so many things I would have done differently. And his dad said, like what? And he started naming those things. You know, the guy's like 50, 60 and saying, I wish I could live my life over. Well, 15-year-old John Goddard heard that and thought, I don't want that to be me. Well, he grabbed a pad and he wrote, you know, my life's dreams. He started writing. He wrote for days and days and days and days. And 15-year-old John Goddard came up with 127 life goals. Visit every country in the world, run a five-minute mile, do 100 push-ups, climb 14 major mountains in the world, beginning with Everest, explore 22 major rivers, Light a match with a 22, milk a rattlesnake. <laughs> Read the, every word in the Bible, teach, uh, teach a class on the Bible, be happily married, raise kids. 127 goals all over the map. Learn three languages. And 27 years later, at the age of 42, John Goddard had accomplished 108 of the 127 goals he wrote down. He was on the cover of Life magazine, I believe it was 1972. And the feature story, the cover said, One Man's Life of No Regrets. John Goddard never had a midlife crisis. How many of you know someone, not yourself, but how many of you know someone who's having a midlife crisis? They don't have any goals. They don't have any motivation. They don't have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. And people cannot create that for us. Your spouse can't create that for you. Your parents, your boss, people can't create that. When you have a challenge or a difficulty, if you want a positive solution, ask a positive question. question. It's brilliant, as simple as it sounds. The mind responds.